welcome to online classes plans are only good intentions unless they immediately degenerate into hard work a dream doesn't become reality through magic it takes sweat determination and hard work today we will take up sequence of tenses sequence of tenses is the principle according to which the tense of the verb in the subordinate clause follows the tense of the verb in the principal clause now there are some rules rules of sequence of tenses rule number 1 If the verb in the principal clause is in the present or future tense, the verb in the subordinate clause may be in any tense. I repeat, if the verb in the principal clause or the main clause is in present or future tense, the verb in the subordinate clause may be in any tense. That is, present, past, or future, according to the sense intended by the speaker. example i think he is here is here present tense i think he will be here this is future tense i think he was here past tense another example she will think i am here she will think i shall be here she will think i was here now rule number 2 if the verb in the principal clause is in the past tense the verb in the subordinate clause will be in the corresponding past tense example the train had left before i reached the station past tense i knew that Sasha wanted to eat an apple. Again, past tense. Nikhil said that he wanted money. Another example: His father had died when the doctor came. Yes. Now, rule number three: A past tense in the principal clause may be followed by a. simple present tense in the subordinate clause if it expresses a universal truth yes i repeat a past tense in the principal or the main clause may be followed by a simple present tense in the subordinate clause if it expresses a universal truth or a custom or habit a universal truth first Yes example I was told that oil is lighter than water yes what did i say i said that a past tense in the principal clause may be followed by a simple present tense you can see simple present tense here in the subordinate clause this is a universal truth next custom or habit that is example I learnt that Chinese ladies wear fine clothes. Another example, he was glad to hear that his son goes to school in time. Rule number 4. Even if there is a past tense in the principal clause, it may be followed by any tense required by the sense in the subordinate clause when the subordinate clause is introduced by than example he liked you better than he likes me he likes you better than he liked me he has liked you better than he liked me he will like you better than he has liked me
Now, note if the comparison is expressed by as well as instead of than. Here than was used. Now we will be using as well as. The same rule will be applied. Any tense may be followed by any tense depending on the sense intended by the speaker. Example. They liked me as well as they like him. They like me as well as they liked him. They will like me as well as they liked him. Yes? Now, rule number five. When the subordinate clause is introduced by a conjunction of purpose such as that or lest, the, the following rule will be observed. That is, A. If the verb in the principal clause is in the past tense, the verb in the subordinate clause is expressed by might, past tense. Example, I worked hard that I might win the prize. I had worked hard that I might win the prize. I was working hard that I might win the prize. I had been working hard that I might win the prize. Rule number 5b. If the verb in the principal clause is in the present or future tense, the verb in the subordinate clause is expressed by may. Present tense. Example. I work hard that I may win the prize. I have worked hard that I may win the prize. Next, I am working hard that I may win the prize. I have been working hard that I may win the prize. Next, I will work hard that I may win the prize. I will have worked hard that I may win the prize. I will be working hard that I may win the prize. I will have been working hard that I may win the prize. Another rule. If the conjunction introducing the subordinate clause is lest, the verb in the subordinate clause has should, irrespective of the tense of the verb in the principal clause, that is main clause. Yes. Example, he is careful lest he should fall. That is, he is careful that he may not fall. Next, he will be careful lest he should fall. You see, with lest we have should. Yes, it means he will be careful that he may not fall. Fall. Next, he was careful lest he should fall. That is, he was careful that he might not fall. Now, I'll tell you the answers of the last assignment which was a comprehension passage 
on page number 41 and 42. Number 1 Part 1 Prolled Number 2 Mansions Number 3 Surfeited Number 4 Unwholesome Part 2 Number 1 Suman finds it difficult to maintain her long dark hair. Number two, his viewpoint on this policy is somewhat remote from reality. Number three, according to his friends, he is a complete nut. Number four, we don't have enough money to last until next month. The B part, number one, the young man was prowling through the crumbling red mansions to find a room on rent for himself so that he could find his girlfriend who had gone missing. Answer number two. The young man found the housekeeper like an unhealthy, too large a worm that has hollowed it its shell by eating its nut and was on a look out for edible lodgers to find the hollowed shell. Number 3. When the young man was resting in his room, he found his room filled with the familiar fragrance of mignonet, which was his lady love's favorite fragrance. Number 4. The two ladies, the housekeeper, Mrs. Purdy and her friend, Mrs. McCool, were discussing about Mrs. Purdy's new tenant. In the course of their conversation, it is revealed that Mrs. Purdy had hidden the truth from her tenant about the lady who had committed suicide a week ago in the same room which she had given on rent to him. Her description of the girl as having a mole on left eyebrow revealed that she was the same girl which her new tenant was looking for. Now the C part. You have to write one word in each box. A young man was looking for his lady love who had gone missing, he rented a room in a lodge located close to a theatre district as his sweetheart was a prospective stage artist. On entering the room, he could smell the fragrance his lady love used. He searched every corner of the room looking for something that remained of the woman he was seeking. This illusory smell was that of gas. He had turned on in 
despair as his lady love had done a week ago the young man lost his life in the same furnished room in which his lost sweetheart took her life now the answers of exercise 1 on page number 47 number 1 has gone number 2 has just heard has met number 3 has produced number 4 has written number 5 have reached number 6 have not enjoyed number 7 have completed number 8 have asked number 9 have just come have spent number 10 have written exercise 2 on page number 48 the answers number 1 been flying number 2 have been thinking number 3 has been playing number 4 have not been eating number 5 has been claiming number 6 has been playing number 7 have been building number 8 has been using number 9 has been standing number 10 has been telling answers of exercise 3 on page number 50 number 1 had gone number 2 had been expecting number 3 had left number 4 had been saving number 5 had been suffering number 6 had been staying number 7 had taken number 8 had seen number 9 had been painting number 10 had captured number 11 had lost number 12 had gone number 13 had listened Number fourteen had and typed. Number fifteen stopped. Number sixteen had lived. Number seventeen had left. Number eighteen had been plain. Your assignment for today is page number fifty-seven of your total English book. page number 58 b part and c part page number 59 which is a comprehension passage you should read this passage very carefully at least 3 times and then answer the questions that follows page number 60 page number 61 page number 62 this is all for today students work hard have fun make history stay safe